Hello students and welcome to the next lesson in our AS Level Human Geography course. Today we're going to be looking at a migration case study and it's all about Poland migrating to the UK. So where is everyone migrating? Due to these SEEP factors, many Polish citizens have decided to migrate towards the UK. Now before I begin this video, I just want to start by saying this is only based on statistics and general um, assumptions in the field of geography. I know a lot of people in Poland are not migrating to the UK and there is this sort of stigma of a Polish stereotype moving there. Now this is only based on stats and information from geography textbooks so please don't take it personally if you are being offended by any of what is said in this video. Now the city that's been receiving the most immigrants from Poland is the city of Peterborough. So we can see from this map here, which is an immigration movement map, um, this may be a trip line showing a person moving from Poland towards Peterborough in the UK. So why is everyone migrating? Polish citizens are migrating to the UK just for better life. However, SEEP factors are what are causing them to do this. We can analyse these SEEP factors by sorting them out into push and pull factors. So people move towards the UK and they become happy, for example, because they now have a job. In Poland, they may not have had a job in the first place. So here are the push and pull factors. Push factors influence emigration and pull factors influence immigration as we looked at in our last video of migration. So here are the ones specific to Poland and the UK. Now push factors may be because of low wages in Poland, due to some political conflict, maybe the possibility of some sort of a war, opportunities for women, and famine and food shortages in the country. Now the pull factors bringing people to the UK is that there's better education generally in the, in the UK compared to the other country, there's better healthcare, the wages are much higher, there's um, distinguished Polish communities in the UK already, and there's also favourable political system to the person who wants to then move. So now having people migrate from Poland to the UK, there's going to be certain advantages for Poland, which is the source country. The first of which is that money is going to be sent back home from the immigrants who migrate over to the UK. This hence improves the Polish economy by increasing GDP. However, it also um, decreases the pressure on jobs and resources in Poland. So as a result, more people can become employed happily and there's less people who are going to be having to live off benefits, which will then decrease the GDP. Migrants also return home with new skills after their temporary time in the UK. These skills could then be applied to making Poland a better place to live in. However, there are going to be disadvantages for Poland as well. Firstly, unemployment will increase if all of the Polish workers choose to migrate to the UK. Also, due to a smaller workforce, this has a knock-on effect on GDP. The country won't be producing as much and there will be a bigger output gap, and as a result, the country won't be making as much money. Also, there's going to be demographic unbalance, as generally, mostly men leave statistically in order to go and seek a job when migrating. As a result, there's going to be too many women, and this can have some social implications. Now we're going to look at the advantages for the host country, which is the UK. Firstly, unemployment will decrease as more workers enter the country. As a knock-on effect, GDP will increase because there is now a larger workforce and the output cap will be decreased. Also, there's going to be more of an enriched, diverse culture, which will be much better for standard living in the UK as a whole. However, there are going to be some disadvantages. There's going to be more pressure on resources, seeing as the population has just risen, and people may experience the social pressures of losing an English feel. Now, this can escalate into racism, which is a very big problem in communities, but is being managed by local authorities efficiently in many places throughout the development schemes run by the government. Also, the economy is impacted, seeing as some Im um, immigrants who come to the country then send money home back to their host country. As a result, the money that should be put into the UK economy, which they receive through wages, isn't then you know, regenerated. So as a result, the UK loses part of their GDP. The impact on population structure. So, seeing as mainly workers migrate, the middle-aged uh, of working year sections are going to increase in a population pyramid. 
So we can see this here. This is a current population pyramid for the UK. Now, what will happen if we experience immigration from people coming from Poland? Well, firstly, this sort of bulkiest area of the middle part is going to increase, mainly in the male section, seeing as statistically, mostly males migrate to a country in search for work. We will see some increase from the female section, but not as much as that of the male section. Also, there will be an increase in the youth. Now, you may be wondering why this is. Now, the reason is because there are certain laws in countries which allow you to stay in a country even if you don't have a visa or a card which is permitting you to stay there if you have a child. This is because the child is a resident of that country seeing as they were born there. These children are named as anchor babies and what could happen is that the immigrants who come to the country and are expected to be deported can have a child which secures them to the country and then they can't, you know, they don't have a reason to have to then go back. Here you have some questions on migration from Poland to the UK. Have a go at attempting these and then hit play once you've paused them in order to see all the answers. Here are the answers. If you did get all of these right, congratulations. I would advise you to move on to the next video, which is going to be all about population and resources. If you did not, be sure to go over your notes once more or you can visit www.revisealevel.co.uk where there's far more information on geography and another wide range of subjects. As always, thank you so much for watching and I will see you next time. Goodbye.